What's going on Falcons fans, Logan here. Welcome back to Rise Up Rundown, and if you're new here, welcome. So every NFL team has a player that nobody gives enough respect to. They're so good at the game, but nobody talks about them. They also have a player that everyone gives way too much respect to, and they're not as good as they all make them out to be. And in my eyes, I think I've found the most underrated and overrated Atlanta Falcons player heading into 2020, and we're going to go over that starting right now. Keep in mind, this is my opinion. Let me know if you guys agree or disagree with my takes in the comments below, and also let me know who in your eyes is the most underrated and overrated Atlanta Falcons player heading into 2020. But let's go ahead and talk about, in my eyes, the most underrated Atlanta Falcons player heading into 2020. I did not need to second guess this. It's Jake Matthews. This guy gets hate for literally no reason at all. I think there's just no solid reason on why you should hate this guy. I think he's been a total stud ever since he entered the league back in 2014, I believe. We're going to go over his 2019 stats, and I'm also going to show you some film that really just caught my eye. But let's go over his 2019 stats first. He only allowed 8 sacks, which was 1 sixth of the total amount of sacks allowed by the Atlanta Falcons. He had 7 penalties and 79.7. .7. That's a 79.7 .7 pro football focus grade. But those are just his stats. I'm going to show you some film on this guy. And the ones that I'm about to show you really, in my opinion, show how great of a player this guy is. Because I feel like he always sets up key blocks. And not only are they key blocks, but they're like nasty blocks too. He really helps the Falcons win games. Like, check out the block he had against the Redskins back in 2018 to give Julio Jones his first touchdown of the year. And then last year against the Eagles, the game that I went to, Jake Matthews was arguably the MVP of the game by setting up this block to help the Falcons overall take the lead with this touchdown by Julio Jones. And then against the 49ers, this whole drive he had to go against Nick Bosa and he didn't do that bad of a job. Look at this. This guy gets hate for literally no reason. I don't get it. I think the hate needs to stop and people should get respect on Jake Matthews' name. But now we're going to go into, in my eyes, the most overrated Atlanta Falcons player heading into 2020. Some of you guys probably saw this coming. Some of you guys probably didn't. But I have Ricardo Allen. I get it. He's a leader out there on the field. He's a smart player. He watches film and he makes a couple of good plays. I get it. He's not the worst safety in the league, but there's just a lot of things I do kind of want to talk about. But first, let's go over his 2019 stats, which are not pretty. The only thing that's decent, I guess, is that he had eight passes defended. I, I guess that's decent. I don't know. But he only had two interceptions. He had a pro football focus grade of 58.6. And he had a 152.7 passer rating allowed. Which I'm pretty sure was the second worst in the league last year. That's not very good if you want to say that Ricardo Allen is one of the best safeties in the league in my opinion. But those are just stats though. Other reasons on why I'm not really high on Ricardo Allen. First off, I feel like he's low-key injury prone. And then the other thing, I feel like he just doesn't really have anything that scares you. He kind of, he doesn't really have anything seriously good. He makes a couple good plays, but I think we're just going to ignore the fact that he also lets up some pretty big plays. And the big plays that he lets up are really freaking big plays. Like, they really changed the game and all of the interceptions that come to him in my opinion come to him really easily like the one against the Seahawks in 2015 was bad in the air and he was able to get it and then against the Seahawks again in the 2016 divisional round it was uh hit as Russell Wilson threw it and then it was kind of easy for him to grab it 
I, I just think he doesn't really have anything that really scares you. He doesn't really do anything that's just a game-changing ability. He's just kind of a solid DB, but nothing special in my eyes. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Other than that, I will see you guys with a video this Tuesday at 11 o'clock a.m. Eastern. I will always love and appreciate you all for the support. As always, rise up.